What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balanced Perception YouTube channel. Today I decided to record the episode outside because I don't know, it was a nice day. I planned to get out here earlier, but I got out here a little bit late because we had a really long day yesterday. But nonetheless, I still got out here. I'm still recording for you guys. There's like some crazy squirrels dropping nuts from the trees. I don't know, it's kind of crazy, but anyways, that's not what you're here for. You're here because we are checking out all the swords I've gotten thus far, plus I got a brand new one. I know I have a problem, but if it makes you know any sense, it's actually for a new cosplay I plan on doing, and you guys will know exactly what it is as soon as I pull out the sword. So let's check out all the swords I've accumulated thus far, plus the new one I will be revealing for my new cosplay. Let's get into it. So as I said, today I'm going to be revealing a brand new cosplay sword I got. You know, compliments of Amazon, but first and foremost, let's check out the previous sword. So you guys all know my favorite, Rebellion. I still am not able to handle this beastly sword the way I want, but I'm working on it, you know. I was able to pull that out one hand, still able to do this, you know. I love this sword, if you guys can't tell. I want to get Frostmourne from World of Warcraft, but that's all in due time, and I still wanted to get, uh, I forgot the name of the other sword. Another sword from World of Warcraft, but that's in due time too. So you guys know Oblivion. You know the sword I had for my Beanie Maru cosplay reveal, which I actually plan to be doing a shoot for that. Haven't gotten to it yet, but this is, oh, something's on there, Beanie Maru's sword that I attempted to sharpen. It's a little bit sharp, not super sharp. Um, you know, it's whatever. It's, it's, yeah. It, it got the job done when it came to slicing fruit, and yeah, I still like this sword. A lot lighter than Rebellion. So, that's Beanie Maru's sword. Now, on to the moment that you guys are all here for, and that is what is the brand new sword I got. So, let's check it out. New to you, already known to me. Let's see here, put that there, and of course, we're going to have to cut this open. I wish we had something to cut it with. Oh, what do you know? We have a sword here. Uh, let's see. Boom. And boom. Ah, there we go. So put that back away. You know, safety first. Oh, how does it go? Ah, there we go. Safety first. Put that back away. Let's see what we have here. Very nice. And boom. Check out my brand new sword. If you guys haven't guessed what it is already, you know, I'll give you a few seconds here to check it out, look at it in its full, whatever, extent, 3D shape, whatever, before I unsheath it. So, this sword, ha 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 ha, look at that blade. Check it out. It's got the lightning marks on it, so, actually this one's a little bit sharper than the other one was, but you already know what this sword is going to be for. That's right, Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. Zenitsu is my favorite character, as you guys saw. I uh, had some figures and he was, actually, he was my favorite of the figures, but he's my favorite character in the series. So, I plan to do a Zenitsu cosplay and I will be using this sword for it. Um, you know, just looking at this sword, it's very gorgeous. I mean, I love the way it looks. Of course, it's not like perfectly balanced or anything. I'm trying to, like the balancing point is somewhere around here. So it's not at the hill, it's not in the blade. It's like right here, almost in the center. But you know, this sword, this sword wasn't hand forged or anything, but it looks really, really cool. I really like the way this one looks, you know. Hats off to myself for ordering this one. I selected and everything. I like it. And as you guys know, it is made out of metal, a little bit sharp because I like metal swords. Oh gosh, I cannot wait to use this. So yes, as I was saying, comparing it to the sword I have for Bini Maru, they're actually, this one is probably a little bit heavier. I have to go back and check and see exactly what the different weights are on them. So let me unsheath this sword, put that there, and unsheath this one, put them side by side. We are not gonna try to sharpen this one. They're actually about the exact same, no wait. Zenitsu sword is a little bit longer, by just a little bit. I can't tell you guys exactly how much, but oh my gosh. 
I need to like take both of these or all three of them somehow and get Rebellion and do like a Zoro cosplay. That would be really cool, even though it would be crazy if I had Rebellion on my back, but nonetheless, I may still give it a go. But yes, of these two swords, I can definitely say I like the one for Zenitsu more. The handle is different. This one I told you guys had like, a, I don't know what this is, like a dragon looking, no, sorry, it has like clouds or something like that. And then there's a dragon down here on the base, whereas Zenitsu's doesn't have anything down here. And the base is like triangles. There's all these different triangles going around. Nothing more to it than that. And then just like the yellow, you know, like lightning look going down the side. It's very easy to wield. Um, these are about the same in terms of wielding them, having no trouble whatsoever because they're a lot lighter than Rebellion. That's pretty much everything there is to say about these swords. Um, this one also stainless steel, banging them together. Mm, did that even dent it? No, it didn't. So that's pretty much everything. Look forward to my Zenitsu cosplay. I still have to dye my hair yellow and I have to dye my hair red for the Beanie Maru cosplay. So my hair is gonna be going through a lot in the next couple of days. But that is it. Actually, I wonder if this sword will fit in this hilt. Let's see. No, it won't. So now you guys can see this sword is a little bit longer, so it won't fit in there. So put this one back away. Boom. And put this one away. Is there something else in the box? Hold up. Oh, I didn't even notice. It comes with a strap, so I can put it on my back or on my side. That will be getting used also. Nothing else in here, is there? No. So that's it. But thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Side note, if you're also curious about where the light's coming from, I will link that down below. That is actually coming from the flashes I use when I do photography for one of my mono lights, the or lit light. I will link that for you guys too. I have three of those and I only decided to use one for this video because you know, I really wasn't sure how everything was gonna go down and pulling out swords at the park isn't always the best idea. So I guess it was good that I came a bit later. But anyways, thank you guys so much again, and until next time, stay boundless. See you guys. Bye-bye.